Multi-sig smart contract wallets are an extremely underrated tool. By using a smart contract wallet like Gnosis Safe, you're protecting your crypto from both hacks and phishing attacks and from the loss of your private keys. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief summary of Gnosis Safe, show you how to set up your own Gnosis Safe on any of their supported blockchains, and then I'll show you how to use a DeFi application with that safe. Gnosis Safe is one of the highest quality implementations of a smart contract wallet that exists today. Unlike an externally owned account or EOA, which is the standard private key wallet that most people are familiar with, this wallet uses a smart contract to control funds. At its core, Gnosis Safe allows you to create a smart contract wallet, which they call a safe, with any number of owner addresses. They then allow you to choose how many of those owners are needed to authorize a transaction. There are two main uses of Gnosis Safe today. The first, which is the most common, is that if you have some kind of shared funding, like a treasury for a DAO or just an investment club between friends. When used for something like a treasury, you could choose to require a four of seven scheme, where at least four signatures are needed in order to authorize a transfer. This would prevent a minority of the owners from running off with the funds. The second reason is for an individual to add security to their personal funds on the blockchain. By using this multi-sig approach, you are adding redundancy in the case of losing your private keys. You are also protecting yourself from things like phishing attacks or hacks of your personal information. With an EOA wallet, if anybody so much as glances at your recovery phrase or your private key, they could be able to run off with all of your funds. Obviously, that's terrifying, but by using a Gnosis safe, you're adding additional security measures that can prevent something like that from happening. Personally, I use a 2 of 4 safe where I control two of the addresses and then two people I trust control each of the other ones. And those people don't know who the other one is. One of the addresses that I control is also a hardware wallet. In order for someone to steal funds from me, they'd have to track down at least two of those private keys, which is orders of magnitude harder than just randomly finding one of them. And if, for whatever reason, I lose access to the two wallets that I control, I could reach out to those trusted people and restore my funds. So let's see how you can take advantage of this yourself using Gnosis Safe. So to get started, go to gnosissafe.io. Hit open app. And here we are on the main landing page. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Optimism network, but you can use any of the networks that they support, which includes Polygon, BNB, Avalanche, etc. So to get started, we're going to hit create safe. Continue and now name your safe whatever you want. I'm going to name this one tutorial safe. Continue. And here's the fun part. Now you can add as many owners as you want. In this case, I'm going to add three owners. Now you can just add the wallet addresses of the other owners that you'd like to add. I've gone ahead and filled those out. And if you want, you can also add a name for each of these owners, which will show up in the Gnosis UI. And I'm going to use two out of three owners to confirm the transactions. Now we can scroll down and hit continue. So this is just verifying all of that info. So we can go ahead and hit create after we've checked that those addresses are actually correct. Then you'll confirm that transaction on the blockchain because we're using optimism. The transaction fee is less than $1. And just like that, our safe was created. Now we can hit get started to enter the UI for the safe. So now our safe exists as a smart contract on the Optimism blockchain. And if we go to Optimism's Etherscan, we can type in our safe's address and actually look at the contract. So now that our safe exists, let's see if we can add funds to the safe. Sending funds to a safe is extremely easy and is just like any other transaction. I'm going to copy this address, paste it in my MetaMask, and then send the funds. It is important to remember that this safe only exists on Optimism, so you can only send funds over the Optimism network to this address. Any other network and your funds will get lost. So I'll go ahead and send those funds. So I'll go ahead and confirm that transaction from my MetaMask to send funds to the safe. 
Looking back at Etherscan, I can see that the safe received those funds. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to update on the Gnosis Safe UI, but here I can see my balance is updated and I now have some ETH inside of my safe. By clicking on the Assets tab, we can see that I have Ether, and if you had any other ERC20 tokens, they would appear here. Your safe can also hold NFTs, which you can see here. Now let's get to the fun part and actually use a DeFi application using our Gnosis safe. In order to do that, just go to Apps, and here you can see there are some apps that have specifically integrated with Gnosis Safe. Familiar names like Uniswap, Hop Protocol, etc. But what if we want to use an app that's not on this list? The best way to do that is to actually use Wallet Connect. So let's say we want to deposit our funds into Perpetual Protocol, which isn't on that list. This process will work for the vast majority of DeFi apps. So we'll go to Perpetual's website, then hit Connect. But instead of choosing your MetaMask, hit Wallet Connect. Copy this QR code. And then paste it into the UI on Gnosis Safe. Here we can see it's connected to Perpetual Protocol. And if we go back, we should see our address right here, which is the address of our safe, actually showing that we're connected. From this point on, you can interact with the dApp just like you would with any other wallet, but for every transaction you'd make, you'd have to get the required approvals. So let's see how you would do that now with a normal transaction. So here we are back in the assets interface, and let's just say I want to send this ETH back to the original address. I'll just go ahead and hit send to start the transaction. I'm going to choose my wallet and hit send max, and then hit review. And then I can go ahead and submit that transaction. The wallet that initiates a transaction, which is the one I'm currently connected to with my MetaMask, initially just signs a transaction. Now we can see we're in the Transactions tab. We've made the transaction to send the ETH, but we need one more confirmation in order for that transaction to go through. This Transactions tab is where any of the transactions that you would make with your safe would appear, even if you made them inside another website for another DeFi protocol. So now I just need to switch over to my other wallet to approve the transaction. Okay, so now I'm on the second out of three wallets for this safe, and we only need two wallets to confirm a transaction. So by confirming this, it should send the transaction through. So now we can go ahead and submit the transaction to approve Hit confirm, and we can see that the transaction has been successfully executed. By going back to Etherscan, we can see that this execute transaction function was called, and if we go to internal transactions, we can see that the Ether was actually sent. One thing that's important to note is that in this case, it is the last address that approves that ends up paying the gas for the transaction. In the future, we'll have EIP4337, which adds an improvement to Ethereum, which allows you to pay gas from the actual smart contract. But until then, it's important to remember that the last address that you're using will be the one that pays the gas. If that was helpful, hit like for the algorithm, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.